Touch probe video. There's a link for a uh, YouTube video I did showing how to use a touch probe. And uh, here's another link for another video that I use illustrating how to use the touch probe. Okay, you know, we have two pens we're going to take apart and chop up to make another touch probe. You see the pen body there with the threaded parts and uh, the pen. This spacing bar was an attempt to control the length of the cutoff piece. And I was overly optimistic. I wanted to get a uniform length of two pieces. put the chuck key in the three-jaw chuck and leave it there. That's basically a no-no. You should never do that. It's going to be a time when you turn the lathe on and it'll spin out and hit you in the balls. Not, not a good idea. Okay, now we're going to remachine the two bot pen threaded tips and make them a little smaller. Bigger than it needed to be, longer than it needed to be. Cut off the second pen body to a shorter length. We'll have the two pieces, and when you put the two together, that's going to be the minimum length for the new digitizer. If you want to make one a little shorter, you may have got to machine these pieces a little smaller, shorter. Obviously, machine the, the body for the two pen ends. We're taking a piece of half inch dull run and drilling a hole through it. The drills pick the size so that the pen body ends are light pressed into the pen body. New, new uh, gel run pen body. And we're gonna drill it now we're gonna cut it off the line. It's pretty simple. That's the main piece to the new digitizer. And you screw the ends on the, the pen body parts of the machine. And we uh, press them into the new Delrin. I call it a coupling, I guess. You get a tight fit, which is really what we want. Take the cap off, insert the pen in it, and you can see the spring plunger works just the way we want it to work. Next thing we have to do is cut the pen length, the pen, pen to length. Okay, we pull the brass piece off on one end. I think it's brass. We're going to insert that into the other pen body once we cut it off. Uh, cutting these things off 
the length is sort of hit and miss. You make a guess, you cut it off. It's too long, and you cut it off again. It's the nice thing about using used pens is they aren't full of ink. This gets a little messy when there's ink, you know. The other thing is you really have to stick a rod in the end of the pen and get some of the ink out because when you try to press this new tip in the end of the old piece, it, it won't press and until you remove some ink. It's, the ink's not a compressible medium. It's better to have some air in there and then you can compress it a little bit. That makes it real messy too. So, pressing is kind of a kind of a messy job. Screw the end cap on and. And wow, we got the thing cut to the right length. It looks good. So we'll go on to the next step. Body apart again. What we're going to do next is drill some holes in the pen body so we can attach it to. Uh, Well, today's beverage of choice is Goose Island Six Day. It's a pretty good festive brown ale. That's what the bottle says. And we can all drink to that. Mm. They don't make it much better than that. They don't make it much better than that. Yes, it's good beer. Bring a hole in the, the coupling. We're gonna thread these 